JRE and Co. I've become libertarian in some ways on that sort of stuff. The same thing is true, by the way, when it comes to the issue of same-sex marriage. So on a personal moral level, I'm opposed to same-sex marriage. I'm an Orthodox Jew, and I believe that a man and a woman were made for each other. When it comes to government involvement, I don't think that's anybody's business. I think a lot of things. I think adultery is bad, too. I don't think the government ought to be involved in adultery. I, I'm, I'm so strict, I don't think premarital sex is a good thing, right? I, I, I've been very vocal about this. I was a virgin until I was married. My wife was a virgin until she was married. I think that's a good thing. Do I think the government has anything to do with any of those things? No, I don't. I don't think it's any of the government's business. It's consensual activity. There are no externalities. So what exactly is the government getting involved in? And when the government gets involved in stuff, then there are externalities, right? Once the government starts to cram down its vision on right. people, then you start to get unintended externalities. So for example, with the, le- with the legalization, my, my view on marriage is that the government should get completely out of the business. I don't think the government should be involved in straight marriage. I don't think it should be involved in gay marriage. I think the government should be out. I agree 100%. And, and, and the reason that I say that is because as a religious person, right, who believes in traditional marriage, I have two... I have two marriage certificates. I have the one from the state that I don't give two craps about. It's buried somewhere in my garage. And then I have my, relig- my religious marriage certificate, which meant, among other things, that I got to shut my wife, right? I mean, like, this was the one that mattered to me. And I think that's true for most religious people. The religious ceremony matters a lot more than the state saying a thing. And the state isn't incentivizing marriage. People aren't getting married because they're like, yeah, I need the tax break. Right. So that's a bunch of nonsense. And once the government decides what version of marriage it wants to push, that then comes into conflict with other values. So, for example, once the state of California decides that same-sex marriage is on legal par with heterosexual marriage, now I'm worried about the externality of I have a religious day school or I have my my synagogue. My synagogue is a religious institution. It doesn't approve of same-sex marriage. Now is the government going to come in and tell my synagogue how it ought to act with regard to same-sex marriage? I don't think that's the government's business. So how about this? How about everybody gets to do basically what they want, associate with whom they want, and it's none of the government's business. This seems like a pretty good, happy medium.